When Florida attacks, we fight back, even if it's against the most dangerous animal in the world. Researchers at UCF are working on a new way to target mosquitoes. Several cases of malaria have been reported here in Florida, and the state even issued an advisory about mosquito-borne illnesses. Fox 35's Matt Trezza goes inside a lab with a new test which uses fake human skin that could change the way mosquitoes attack us. We fight them off the best we can. I've been spraying, <laughs> using off spray. From handheld sprays to the big guns on the ground and in the air, it's an ongoing fight against the mosquito population. You know, nobody wants to get bit up by, you know, mosquitoes. Now, researchers at UCF's College of Medicine are taking a different approach. You're looking at what could be the future of life-saving research into the world's deadliest animal. The small red cube getting swarmed by the biting, buzzing pests is called capillary gel or cap gel. The cap gel is built to mimic skin, but it's actually a bundle of tubes infused with human or animal cells and filled with animal blood. Mosquitoes don't know it's not the real thing. So the idea is, is that we created the kind of this new uh, engineered tissue, engineered human tissue platform that mosquitoes can bite and blood feed from in a kind of natural way. The researchers start out growing the cap gel in a petri dish like this. It has kind of a hockey puck-like shape that gets chopped up into these strips. From these strips, they further chop it up into these little blocks, and from there, it gets processed into the final product. When researchers add droplets of blood into the block, it gets sucked inside quickly, behaving like blood in vessels under the skin. They say it's a better way than using live human or animal subjects for research. The ultimate goal is to use this platform as a new uh, tool to give us information about kind of the bite site biology, the things that are going on when the mosquito bites you, and all of the questions that attach there. The research can help experts figure out new ways to repel mosquitoes. It could even help control the mosquito population. And here's the big one. It can help study how mosquito bites transmit deadly disease. Diseases. diseases such as West Nile virus, dengue fever, Zika, and malaria. This research is crucial since the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says those types of vector-borne diseases cause more than 700,000 deaths a year. So anything we can do to, to bring down the, the suffering, bring down that burden in, in uh, countries across the world, um, that would be the goal. Their next steps include partnering with other institutions and companies on cap gel research and developing new methods for using it to battle these bugs. In the meantime, we all know to drain standing water and avoid outdoor activities at dawn and dusk. But here are some non-traditional methods to keep yourself safe. Get mosquito repelling plants like citronella mosquito plants. Change your lighting. White lights attract mosquitoes, so opt for yellow lights instead. Tuck in your clothes. Protect your body by tucking your shirt into your pants and then tucking your pants into your socks. Well, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.